Dear ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, I'm grateful for the opportunity to take part in such a representative and established forum. It is necessary to admit that COVID-19 has changed our lives forever. Outlines of the post-coronavirus world are manifesting themselves right now. Here are just some of them. Pandemic has definitely rejected statements of the advocates of globalization about the end of history of recent decades, as well as the need to replace the seemingly outdated state institutions with supranational structures. States have shown that they have been and remain structure-forming units for the world order. It is the countries with consolidated societies that rely on their own capabilities which have been best in dealing with pandemic. Does it mean that the architecture of international institutions would be dissolved? Surely not. These institutions should become more efficient if states forego using them as arenas of ideological confrontation and rather use them for substantive equal and mutually respectful cooperation. It is necessary to reaffirm in acts, not in words, commitment to international law instead of um, ephemeral concepts like the world order based on rules, as well as to respect the UN Charter in international affairs that has been and will remain in the future the platform for dialogue of states that is no alternative. The post-coronavirus world as we see it is multipolar and plural pluralistic which does not prevent it from reaching agreement in order to resolve common problems. It is a world where one does not try to impose one's nations about well-being or optimal ways of achieve it, let alone by force or threat of use. It is a world where uh, evolutionary progress of humanity based on consensus is preferred over destructive interventions and uh, interference in the international affairs of other states. Although our understanding of a post-COVID future looks overly optimistic for now, we are confident that the objective challenges of truly planetary scale that we will have to deal with more and more will prompt us to form such kind of the world order. We hope that we will learn, learn lessons of COVID-19 well and will be ready for such challenges. Thank you.